Debs? Can't find him anywhere. Start at the garage and he's not at home. If he's done anything stupid, I'm blaming you. Well, hey, don't blame me. He can mess up his own life without my help. <sighs> Have you checked the bridge? Yeah, not there. And his car's gone. Well, he's not up here. Has she gone already? Well, there's no sign of her, but a, a car's still here. Right, OK, well, I want you to go in, have a word and... Do not mess this up and be nice. Debs, these are grown adults. Let them get on with it. Just do it. I've got my own sad little life to lead, thank you very much. Right, lady. You know how I feel about this stinking farm, so you better start talking. Go away, Charity. Go away, Charity. Do you mind? I'm actually trying to have a private moment here. All right, well, sorry for crashing it, but, you know, timing's never been my strong point. Can you just go, please? No! Because apparently you're doing a moonlight flit in broad daylight, and Deft will not be happy if I let you go. I mean, can you believe she's even blaming me for all of this? For what? I've upset Kane, haven't I? So she's gone after him, cos apparently now he's gone AWOL. And all this on account of some... grumpy Scottish farmer who can't see past her own pride and be with a man she loves. I don't love him. And what do you mean, he's gone AWOL? So you do care. Right, I'm gonna give you a moment, OK? It's OK. Look, I just... I need to get away. And it's no-one else's business why or what I do or where I go. Well, actually, it is our business because we've got to live with the gob on cane, haven't we? It's like a broken ape in a zoo. All sad eyes and far away. He's not my problem. You know, Chaz reckons he'll be bad for business if you go. And she'll blame you for that as well. And, you know, you don't want to get on the wrong side of her, do you? Why are you even bothered about what I do? He hated it every day when he was with me. Not every day I didn't. Anyway, Debs has given me strict instructions to get this sorted. I'm over it, Charity. I'm over all of it. Him, him and Harriet, you and him, me and him. <laughs> I'm done. Well, me and him are definitely done. OK, I might not have liked you and him at the start, but, yes, I can see why it worked. Personally, I never got the whole vicar thing. You love the bones of him. I can smell it a mile off. Everyone can. Love wasn't enough before, was it? And there's just something about me and him that doesn't work. Well, there's something about him and everyone that doesn't work. The difference with you two is he adores you. And you're under his skin, Moira, big time. <laughs> yeah, but... And you... Do you know what? You're running out of butt. You still love him, end of. You know, I couldn't have gone through a single day what you've gone through. <sighs> I need to get going. No, you need to stop running away from your life. Moira, it's OK to feel a bit of happiness again. No-one's going to be judging you for that. And if there's the slightest chance... There isn't. But thanks for your concern. <laughs>